Welcome back to Disc Golf Valley, everybody. This is LaHue Gaming. I gotta be honest with you, I have attempted to make this video about seven times now. Windswept Fields is the next challenge for our three-star Let's Play series. This is episode 14, and it is what I would like to call a booger. We're just gonna jump on in and try to tackle this course. We need seven under to get the three-star, and I gotta be honest, it's been a pain. So hole, hole one, par three, 325 feet. We have a three mile an hour right to left headwind. Put that musket that's pretty stable out on an Anheuser and let's just start off with the birdie. That's what we need. Remain calm, start off with the birdie. There it is, in the basket, birdie number one. Moving on, going to hole two. We have a par four, 535 feet. Same ridiculous wind. Right to left, five mile an hour. We're putting the musket on another big Anheuser. Not extra glide, unfortunate, but we will have a chance at throwing this in for an eagle. Not a good chance, but a chance nonetheless. 208 feet. Let's see if we can make some magic happen. We cannot. We're not magicians. I don't know why I would think that. All right, tap it in for birdie number two. That's okay. We need seven under on nine holes, meaning we have two pars essentially, or one bogey, to give us some breathing space. We have hole three, par four, 521 feet, a right to left tail-ish wind, five miles an hour. We're going to put the Pioneer straight out. That was not ideal. Just don't go OB. That's all I need for you to do right now. Stay in bounds. Alrighty. Now, take the pure. We just want it to be underneath the basket. That's the biggest goal. Oh boy! Man, that thing just comes down like a helicopter and makes you think, I think it'll go in. Just kidding! There we go. Birdie number three. Easy holes are out of the way. Yes, that's right. I said it. Those were the easy holes. Hole four, par three, 396 feet. This is where it gets tough. All right. We have a five mile an hour left to right wind. The musket's going on a slight hyzer. Low throw over the water. Stay up. <gasps> Woo! Oh boy. Okay. Now we just have a 43 foot putt to make. No big deal. Boom! In the basket. Birdie number four. I'm feeling good, but let's not get overcompetent. Competent? No, no. Overconfident. There's the word. Hole five, par four, 404 feet, left to right, five mile an hour headwind. We're gonna put the Pioneer straight out over the river, and I just need to stay in bounds. The Eagle Chance is nice here, but it just, it needs the right wind and the right disc. And I didn't have either of those. 150 feet left, a little bit of a headwind, so we're gonna put some power and some Anheuser on this. I just need it to settle. Eagle chance is okay, but settling to get the birdie, that is what is most important here. Alright guys, we're almost we're almost there. We're five under after five holes. We only need two more birdies, and then we can play it safe for par. Alright guys, hole six, par three, 260 feet. This basket is over the hill, through the woods, grandmother's house is nearby. We're going to put this compass with a right to left three mile an hour wind on Anheuser over the trees. And I'm just going to let it flutter down. Come on. Don't roll too far. Yes. Oh. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Put the pure in the basket. There we go. Birdie number six on the board. Whew. Okay. Calm my nerves. Explorer. Four mile an hour. No. We're going musket. Four mile an hour wind, left to right. Just throw it up at that tree. Okay, now come down. Get down, get down. There we go. There we go. All right, 53 feet. It's a headwind. So down, little extra power. Don't do that. Why? Why? Oh, okay. Six under after seven holes. We still have the opportunity to make it, guys. Nobody freak out on me. We're gonna take the, the Explorer. It's a three mile an hour left to right headwind, par three, 298 feet. 
going for the ace run here. And we're not going for the ace run. We just want to get close to the basket. Don't go too far. Obviously, we've seen that my putting skills have not been on point today. A right to left win. What was that? Oh, my left thumb hit the bag. I was so confused. All right. Oh, thank goodness. I was holding my breath the entire time. That's birdie number seven. Oh, that's birdie number seven. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, this hole. Why? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Calm myself down. I'm going with my instinct. My instinct is th to throw the compass down a little bit. It's a right to left three mile an hour win on an Anheuser. I should make the island no problem. Okay, now don't sail. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Okay. Whew. Here we go. I am putting because I don't want to go too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just want to get like half, a little over half the distance. I should be capable of making a 30 foot putt. Boom! There it is. Oh my gosh. I'm so relieved right now. Seven under. Finish the round. Win sweat fields. That's the three star. Oh, that's the three star. And we got the accurate, sticky, pure. That's the one I've been wanting, guys. That's the one. We're, we're going now. We're doing it. I like the accurate extra glide pure. But we're going sticky for now. If I try it out and I need to go back to the other one, that's fine. That was episode 14, guys, of Disc Golf Valley Let's Play Three Star Series. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate all the support I've been getting. It's been phenomenal. Like the video. Comment with your favorite shot or how nervous you might have been for some of those throws. And don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you wouldn't mind, share this channel with your friends, your family, anybody you think might like Disc Golf Valley, Disc Golf, or Clash of Clans. I would love the extra support. It's been a blast making the videos. Thank you all for joining me again. This has been LaHue Gaming, signing out.